What's up, horror community? I'm Stock, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about horror. Not a single franchise of horror, not a single character of horror, not an aspect of horror. We are actually going to be talking about the entire genre of horror. And this just dawned upon me that I just wanted to make this video and talk about this because it's something I strongly believe in. It's something that comes up in conversation that I have week to week life with just people. And I always tell them that horror is my favorite movie genre by miles. And I felt like I finally had to talk about this. And especially because I talk to the horror community. And of course, so many of you guys probably agree with me. You guys probably know where I'm coming from. When you say that there is no film genre that hits the way that horror hits for us. So this video is going to be just like all of my other why videos that I've posted in the past where I just go through all my top reasons to why I feel this way. And in this case, like I said, we're talking about why I feel like horror is the best movie genre. And how do I start it off? I got to start off with something that I strongly believe in, something that I always bring up when I'm talking about horror. And it is the fact that I feel like it is very misunderstood. And what I mean by that, and this, is, and this is a reason of why it makes it make me love it even more because when people misunderstand it or they crap on it or whatever, that always makes me love something more if, if I'm a big fan of something. But what I mean by that is I feel like horror is very misunderstood because there is so many people in the world that don't understand horror. When they, when they see it or when they hear it, they just think it's this bloody, gory, crazy things I don't want to look at messy whatever and I get that like I know I understand everyone is not meant for gory crazy bloody stuff which is fine which is totally fine my favorite types of horror isn't even really gory either but it's the part where they think that that's all there is to it and they kind of miss a lot of the magic of what horror films bring and what I am referring to is the story element that horror movies bring. And like they, they could hit you emotionally too. Like that's another thing people don't think. But I, what I'm saying is horror movies have a very strong story, especially when it's a horror franchise and you have like a final character or like a final girl, which is famous in horror. And they live through certain movies, like the, the, the growth of those characters. It's no different than any other show or movie series you've seen. And I feel like, a lot of the time with people who don't get horror they just completely that goes over their head so that's something i'm always consistently trying to explain to people is horror is more than just jump scares scariness bloodiness it's a lot more than that there's so many more layers to it so that was a key element to my whole misunderstanding thing i was going for that's always one of my biggest reasons is when people misunderstand it but let's go to some more reasons for me personally and one of my biggest is the entertainment horror movies bring me and no other genre has even come close to bring me the satisfaction I get from watching a horror movie. And that that's on a lot of different levels. Of course, I love the tension and the scare and the fright that you get from horror films so much but like there's just this specific charm I just have with horror movies that just make me happy at the end of the day and just give me the best experience for me personally. And it's it's hard to explain, but I think people understand it if you're a diehard horror fan like me. There's no other vibe or feel that other, like a comedy or an action movie or whatever can bring. There's just not. They just don't have that charm that horror movies have. And like I said, I the scariness and everything is still amazing, but as I've gotten older, it's a little harder to scare me but horror movies don't have to scare me because I can still appreciate the creepiness of a film even though it doesn't scare me like how it did when I was like five or ten or whatever there's just different charms to it now and horror has that strongest charm than any other genre by so 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 many levels I also love this very unique thing that horror can create for fans and that is their killers I love how Yes, the killer in horror movies, at the end of the day, they are the villain. G 
ghost people, for example, Ghostface, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, I'll throw in some new people like Art the Clown, which is fantastic. Um, these guys, at the end of the day, these are the villains in the movies. By miles, they are murderers, they kill. And the thing that horror movies do, so uniquely as like for viewers and fans, is they make you love these characters so much and everything about them, whether it's their look or the way that some of them talk verbally or the other ones physically, everything about them you love. And like in certain ones, you even cheer for them. And it's, it's just great. It's such a unique charm. Like literally I have an entire shelf over here of like all these characters I have merchandise. And this is just a little small piece of all my merchandise of horror characters and slashers that I own, even like all the shirts that I own too merch in general and that's something that horror movies do so 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 uniquely because like a lot of the time like villains like it's like okay like that's the that's the villain like but it, like, you could be a fan of villains don't get me wrong in other it's just it's just freaking unique with horror like how they're like the big mass killer and like so many of the time it's like it's weird to me that they're the evil I, I don't know it's it's hard to explain it's very hard to explain but i love that unique charm and i love the perks that come with it another thing i will say that i touched on earlier is the whole being scared thing being frightened at at an age like how i am right now at 24 it's not the same as i was at like five years old six year old seven eight nine ten or whatever when you're younger it's a different type of scare but now of course, I could still get creepy vibes and be like my heart could beat, whatever, but I'm not like gonna cry and stuff like that. But when a horror movie today could still like super, super creep me out as an adult and like, or I could like, after I watch it, if I'm walking down my hallway or something at night and I'm kind of like checking my back or whatever, when it does that still, and I'll reference him again because he's fantastic, Art the Clown and Terrifier, when I watched that movie for the first time, it gave me these vibes. That's just an example of one. But when they could still do that to me, there is a magical feeling as a fan and as a viewer. Super magical. And I love that feeling. I love the feeling of kind of feeling tense and feeling frightened. And when it could still do that, like this genre brings to me, massive bonus points for me. Of course, this is also a lot of personal reasons. So I'm going to talk about one of my favorite personal reasons. And it's the fact that horror has been in my life forever. And I... I don't even remember or recall a time where I didn't know what Halloween was with Michael Myers. I couldn't tell you. Like, I've, I've known that movie forever. I've known the character of Michael Myers for as long as I can remember. Dr. Loomis, Laurie Schrode, all of them. I can't recall when I didn't know that. And that's, and that's big credits to my mom, who's a big horror fan. That's kind of where I get it from. I tell her that all the time when we talk about horror movies is I got it from you. And she would always have that playing, like when me and my brothers were little and we'd be watching it and it just sticks with me. That's just part of it. And also talk about my mom. Now I'll talk about my dad's side of things. He introduced, he like would play like Twilight Zone when I was little. And I know that's not a horror, but that's some of the creepiest crap I've ever seen in my life. And that's some stuff. Talk about me as an adult. That's some stuff that sticks up to this day for me. That still creep me out. And I love the hell out of, if you've never seen Twilight Zone in certain episodes, I highly recommend it but yeah it's just it's just a fact that horror has been in my life forever and like seeing it evolve with me and with my life and throughout my years and how much life has changed but at the same time horror has always been there by my side through it all and it just has this awesome arc of me becoming a bigger and bigger fan of it over the years and it's just amazing so that's just a very personal reason but it's a reason nonetheless to make this my favorite genre Another thing I will say is I, this is something that comes with it. I love the horror community. I absolutely adore it since I kind of joined it. And since I made like my horror 31st Instagram account, like not even two years ago, it was probably about like a year and some change amount of time ago when I made that. But since I like joined that community and I kind of really was part of it and saw it and saw people talk about it every day and see all these people that have this similar mind to me and that's that's been amazing i've really i've seen like other things that i'm i'm a fan of and like the the community i just i just don't really fit with it but when it comes to horror 
God, it, it's been amazing. It's just, it's elevated my love for horror, if anything. And like, making, literally making this account was because of how successful me seeing that whole community of fans and stuff was. And that reflected on me even making this account and making videos like this. So I can't, cannot just not talk about the community that comes along with horror itself because that's part of it. At the end of the day, horror is my thing. When there's a new hype horror movie out or when there's a certain conversation at the table and horror is involved, I know that's my thing. I know I'm in the driver's seat to talk about that. I know I could be such a heavy part of that conversation because I know I belong with it and that's just in my blood, I guess. There, there is not a time frame of the year I'm not feeling horror. 365 days out of the year, I am feeling horror. I'm feeling the horror genre. I'm always in the mood to watch a horror movie. So many people aren't. They have their ups and downs of when they want to feel horror throughout the year, which is fine. Like everyone's a different type of fan. But for me, it's like, it's just got this awesome charm where I could watch it. Like I said, 365 days a year. It doesn't matter what time frame it is. If it's in fall, like Halloween is and when you're supposed to feel scary movies, which I love, like that's like the height of it. But I could also feel the hell out of it if it's summertime or if it's winter time. It doesn't matter to me. It just has that super, super high tierness for me personally, where I could feel it any time of the year. And like, I can't say that with much of things I love. I also love how horror has not even just the iconic slashers that you love and feel, but like I said earlier with the whole misunderstanding thing, it was one of my reasons is the other half of that. And that's the hero side of horror movies. And at the same time of how I said earlier also, how you could root for the killer a lot of the time and like feel like they're not like the bad person at the same time like the heroes in horror movies like when they're strong when they're iconic like like laurie or sydney from scream or like those are just two examples but when they're that strong and like their gang of people like they're like just as an iconic and a part of the horror charm as as the killer so you have like these two powerful roles in most of your horror movies mixed together to make like the perfect recipe and also i just i'm just kind of just going here also horror's got so many options like there's not even just slashers there's so many different types of horror that you could be a fan of and like it's it's not singled out to just your average slasher like there's so many other unique different little types of horror movies um even like horror comedies for example like i love horror comedies i love when they're good like killer clowns from outer space or something for example i love that stuff there's just so so many options that people also don't realize but that is also another awesome awesome thing that horror brings to being the goat the goat genre but yes horror is the goat those are some of my key reasons there's just so many, there's so many. I don't even know why I brought up this topic because of course I'm gonna feel like I haven't said enough to do it justice, especially when it's the whole genre and I'm talking about it in a video. Like there's just never gonna be a time where I say everything I wanted to say because horror is just, it, it's too much. It's too much of a big love for me. It's just, it's perfect in every single way. When I talk, I could talk about the music, the visuals, the, the characters, the merchandise that come with it, the horror community my my childhood nostalgia all these things i could talk about which i did in this video it still ain't gonna do it justice but to sum it up nothing 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 touches horror for me and that is why horror will forever be my favorite movie genre of all time i hope you guys enjoyed this video this one was really fun as well i always say that in my videos but it's true everything is always fun to talk about when you're passionate about it, and when people who are passionate about it are watching it. With that being said, if you guys have any different reasons to why horror is your favorite genre, I would love to read it. I would love to listen about it. If you guys agree with any of the things I said in this video, I'd also love to see that. But guys, thank you for watching. As, as, as always, there's going to be a lot more content coming. And Pooh, the other half of Horror 31st, should be returning soon to videos which i'm super excited for he is still part of it just as much as me he just had his things to deal with which i completely understand we've been best friends for over 10 years in real life so we started this thing together it's gonna go on together so he will be back too soon so i'm super excited for that 
moving to his his own apartment with a roommate where he might even have his own little studio in there to film I'm, I'm gonna go there too for some videos it's gonna be awesome but guys thank you for watching i'll see you next time horror 31st out wait a second this just hit my head how did i not hit this because horror out of all the things i've talked about deserves it the most because horror the movie genre I'm about to hit you with the barn burner of a genre because your genre is a barn burner. <laughs>